friends, thank you so much for tuning in to my first ever makeup tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be doing a scarier version of Dr. Seuss's Grinch. But before we dive in, I just want to say a couple things, and that's number one, I'm very much an amateur. While you're watching these videos, you're probably going to see flaws, mistakes, mishaps, all those types of things. But we're going to learn and grow together and learn this type of makeup together. Um, so I'm super excited about that, so just bear with me. And number two, I am not just going to be doing this kind of gore or scary makeup. I'm a princess impersonator, so I'm going to be doing some of my princess looks. I'm going to be doing some glam looks, holiday, uh, date night, um, really whatever you guys want to see. So if there's something you are interested in seeing me do, just post it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, and if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe, give my video a thumbs up, um, share it with your friends. You guys know the YouTube drill. So, um, again, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. So, let's get started and have some fun. So, please excuse my makeup in this video. I was sick and just woke up from a nap before I got started. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is pull up that hair. You can do it regular way, or you can do it in the sexy slow-mo way. Your choice. I'm even going to pop on a wig cap, but you can use a hairnet, a shower cap, or nothing if you don't have any of those available. Then you're going to grab some plastic wrap and go ahead and create a seal over all of your hair using that plastic wrap. You want to make sure you even get those little sideburn areas because we're going to cover this with duct tape and then liquid latex. And if you don't cover up all your hairs, you might just pull them out and it will hurt very bad. I promise. Just make sure you use plastic wrap. Next you want to grab that duct tape. And go ahead and put that duct tape all over the plastic wrap on your head. We're not going to worry too much about the back of our head because we're going to put a Santa cap on. But just make sure you cover up the plastic wrap and don't get it on your skin or those little hairs. Once you get your duct tape on, you're going to want to do a little happy dance. Next, you're going to want to grab some chapstick or some Vaseline and go to town covering up those eyebrows. So we don't pull them out with latex. Then you'll be looking real cute. Next, grab your liquid latex. I use the cheapest kind from Amazon and I'll link that for you in the description. But don't be like me. Put your lid on so it doesn't dry out like this. You. And put some in a bowl you don't really care about. Then you want to dab some on your eyebrows. Dab. Don't swipe. Don't rub. Or you will pull up your Vaseline or chapstick and then that latex will adhere to your eyebrow hairs and it will hurt and pull out your eyebrow hairs. Don't do it. Just dab. I promise. It will hurt. And then stick some unrolled cotton balls on your eyebrows. And then you'll be looking fierce, girl. Get it, get it, get it. Then you just want to go to town with little bits of cotton and latex and cover up your whole head and the sides of your face. Until you look like, ta-da, this. Then I just went back over all of that with another thin layer of latex and my spongy. Now I'm going to create the mouth of the Grinch. Um, I'm going to rearrange this several times to figure out what type of mouth I want exactly. Um, so it's okay if you need to rearrange your latex, but you want to be sure that you start doing it before it dries on your skin or else it will start becoming difficult to move around. Uh, so I'm kind of doing it fairly quickly. Um, and I also want to state here that you can use a sponge for this, you can use your fingers for this, you can use brushes for this, whatever, but make sure whatever you're using can be easily cleaned or you don't mind throwing it away. Like the sponge, I threw it away after I finished this look because I forgot to wash it and yeah, don't be like Allie. And don't sneeze while you're doing your face. But the latex is, is stinky and it makes you sneeze sometimes, but try not to sneeze. And just keep building that mouth up until you have your whole upper lip. And it's going to look a little bit silly right now, but then we're going to add to it later. And now I'm just going back over the kind of bare spots on my head and my forehead and around my face that need a little extra cotton. If you're wondering why my lipstick looks so terrible, it's because I put chapstick all over my lips to keep the latex from sticking to them. So you might want to do that just to be careful. 
Now I'm going to go in with latex and my cotton again and create the bottom lip. So you can make this as big and as thick as you want. You can even extend past your chin if you want to. So now's the time you want to really work on that mouth and make sure it's to your liking. Uh, spend as much time on it as you need because later on, once it starts to harden and dry, it's going to be a lot harder to readjust and reshape that mouth. So this is the best time for you to spend a little extra time on it working with that cotton and that latex and really make sure you get the shape and the size that you are going for. So at this point I'm going to go in with some more latex and some thin strips of cotton and just kind of connect that mouth up to my hairline, up to my eyes, but don't go too close to your eyes because that latex will sting and burn and hurt your eyes if you get it in there. So make sure you stay a little bit away from your eyes, uh, but you just want to connect everything to make everything look like it's going to be furry and one whole face instead of random skin bits and random fur bits. You want everything to look cohesive and that's what we're using this cotton for is just to kind of bring it all together and make it blend in. Um, so you kind of just want to cover up all the way down to your chin and I didn't worry about under my chin because that's where we're going to apply some fake hair. And you can add as many layers and as much cotton as you want to for a fuller effect. Now I'm going to bust out my Snazaroo face paint and I'm going to be using this green color mostly and then a little later on we're going to use that yellow color right there. So I'm just using the little round sponge that it came with, but you can definitely use a brush or a different sponge if you have one on hand. And I'm just going ahead and putting that green face paint all over my head, kind of thin. We're not doing too thick of color, um, but we're just going to put it all over the place. Just get it on there. Like I said, I'm working with Snazaroo face paint. I will link the face paint for you in the description. I got it on Amazon and it was very affordable, I promise. But if you don't want to order on Amazon or you don't want Snazzy face paint, feel free to go to any craft store nearby that has face paint and just pick up whatever you want. Um, you can buy, you can use more affordable products or you can use more high-end products, whatever fits your budget. Now we're going to move on to hair. This is what my Grinch hair looks like. It's made out of water, cotton balls, and paint. So I took some of our cotton balls, put those in a plastic bag, added some water, and added some yellow acrylic paint and some fabric paint in green color. But if all you have is acrylic paint, don't worry, that will work. And then once they start to dry, start pulling those suckers apart to make your little hairs. Then we're going to take this black paint from a Snazaroo face paint set and just paint in that mouth. Next, I decided to go back in with a little green and repaint that cotton on my forehead. So I made a hole for my chest out of green construction paper and hair that I glued on. I'm going to attach that to my chest with Pro Adhesive that I'll link for you in the description. I got it off Amazon. I think that jar was $9 and it will last a long time if you don't spill it on the carpet like I did. Then you're going to paint your hole in your chest black. I feel like that's a metaphor for something, but I'm not sure what. And once you've got it all painted black, it's time to add your heart. So here's my heart. I made it by printing a picture of a heart from online, and then I used hot glue to go over it to give it some 3D dimension, and then added a little acrylic paint on top to color it in. Easy peasy. Now you want to use that same Pro adhesive and stick that right into the gaping hole in your chest. Now if you don't want to buy any adhesive and just want to spend money on latex, you can definitely create the same effect using latex as your glue, but it will be a little bit harder. You might have to use more and you might have to be more careful with it because latex does not create as firm of a hold. Now I'm just taking that same green from my face paint palette and using whatever brush or sponge you might have on hand, just painting all the way down my neck and on my chest and the upper parts of my arms. Now we're going to start laying down our hair. I'm using my latex again as glue instead of my pro adhesive. So you're just going to put down a thin layer of latex and then start piling on that hair. You want to kind of make it messy or if you want your grits to be prim and proper, maybe you want to make it combed over, whatever you really want to do. Um, it can come down as far as you want. I chose to bring mine down a little bit far. 
um, but you can definitely give him a receding hairline if that's what you want. Then I'm going to start working on my eyebrows. I'm going to use the same method, put down some latex, and then put as much hair as you want on top. If you want yours to be thicker, all you have to do is put down another layer of latex and then just keep piling on layers of latex hair, latex hair, latex hair. It's a long, time-consuming process to look this terrible. So after I got my first eyebrow on, I realized that it was blending in too much with my little furs on my face. Um, so I went in with that yellow color that I showed you earlier on my face paint palette and the same little round sponge. And I just put on a layer of yellow paint right on top of that green paint to lighten it up and give a little difference between the hair color and the fur on the face color. But feel free to make your Grinch as yellow or green or whatever color that you like the most. So then we're going in with latex. I'm going to make that other eyebrow. And you kind of want them to be the same thickness and same length, sort of. It's not that big of a deal if one's a little bit messier or longer than the other. But just the kind of the same general size and shape would be nice. Or not. Whatever you want to do, really. Then do a happy dance because we're more than halfway through. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Then I started filling in the rest of my head on my cheeks, on my forehead, down to my chin with this hair. Um, the Grinch has kind of this weird, striking beard. So that's what I was trying to create all the way down to my chin. And then once I kind of got that basically done, I started working on my neck and on my chest because I wanted to make sure I had enough fur to get all of these areas done before I worried about filling in too much. And so basically you're just going to be applying right on top of that paint your latex, a thin layer, and then your layer of hair. And guys, the reason you put down that layer of base paint is for the areas. If you have um, areas of hair that are a little sparse on your chest, you're not going to be able to see this like really pale skin peeping through. It's just going to look like a layer of green underneath. Um, but that's definitely optional, but that is why I put down that green paint to begin with. Next, I'm going to grab my Santa hat. And I recommend using a Santa hat that you're not in love with because you may get green paint on it. And then you just kind of want to pull some hairs out, your eyebrows out, just to make it look all scraggly. Now it's time to create that cute little Grinch nose. I'm using this oven baked clay that I got from Walmart. This package was $1, I believe. But if you don't have this type of clay, don't fear. You can definitely use Play-Doh, you can use Mortician's Wax, you can use Face Wax, you can use Scar Wax. You can use any type of clay that you might have on hand. Or you can even just use paper or plastic or anything that you can cut up and put on your face. Even styrofoam. So ideally, the Grinch's nose is either black or green. So I did paint my clay nose using my Snazzaroo face paint, but if you would rather, you can definitely use acrylic paint or any other type of paint you might have on hand to paint that nose. Your green or black or whatever color you want your nose to be. And then you want to apply that with some adhesive or latex. If you do use latex, just make sure you hold it on a little bit longer to make sure it gets a good hold on to it. So now I'm just going to touch up that nose and then I'm going to go in with some cotton and stuff my upper lip slash nose area until it has the shape that I want it to have. You can make yours as big, as small as you want and cotton is a good way to do that and you don't have to apply latex to this cotton. Now I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics first edition eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using the greens, kind of a mixture of all these greens and this kind of fluffy angled BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to kind of contour my nose area and my mouth area. Now feel free to use whatever eyeshadows, whatever brushes that you have on hand. It doesn't really matter for this look what brush you're using. You could definitely even use your finger or your paintbrush if that's all you have or maybe even a sponge or a blender. Use whatever's available to you and whatever products you have. But I will link this palette for you because it's a good one to have if you're going to be doing looks. It's got lots of colors in it. And then I'm going to take these red colors from the same palette and using the same brush and apply that red right under my eyes to give kind of this tired, angry look to my eyes. 
And now we're just going to take some of those same dark green shades and put them on the lid all the way up to the brow to give a little extra dimension to the face. And now on to teeth. This is what my teeth look like. I made them using hot glue. I just put hot glue on some plastic wrap into the shape of a triangle. Then I took them outside, painted them white, and then put a little tan on them to dirty them up. And then, of course, some fake blood. And I'm attaching them with my Pro Adhesive. Again, if you don't have that, feel free to use your latex, but just make sure you get a good hold on them because they may not adhere as well with your latex. So be a little more careful. You can put as many or as few as you want to be as gruesome or as nice and happy as you want. And then I'm using my homemade, homemade blood. I make my own blood, so if you're interested in knowing how I make my blood, let me know in the comments and I will post a recipe tutorial video on how to make your own blood and I'm just using a dropper to put some extra blood on my lips and on my teeth. But if you don't have a dropper, use a spoon, use your finger, use whatever you have on hand. And then we're going to bloody up that heart. And then once you're happy with the way you look, go be creepy. Like so. Thanks so much for sticking it out with me for my first ever makeup tutorial. If you like it, feel free to subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, comment below what you're interested in next, whether it's glam, whether it's beauty, gore, horror, whatever you want to see, let me know and we'll get to it. Now as a makeup artist, I am obligated to give you some self-indulgent looks with my new makeup. So. We're done for all now. Bye guys.